What is happening everybody? I'm Tim Eister and welcome back to the beautiful village of Milton. In the last episode, we got things started by laying down all the basics, a bunch of roads, a bunch of zones, and a few public services, and this is what we have now. So in the last episode, I've unlocked a bunch of stuff that I didn't have time to play around with. Uh, so right now we have five progression points that we have to spend. And uh, I have a dozen or so lots that we can purchase. Uh, so let's jump into these uh, progression points here. Let's see what we can spend this on. And I think in the last episode, I had just bought the advanced road services. It looks like I'm going to go ahead and buy. No, I don't think large roads are necessary right now. Let's see here. Um, I am going to buy a emergency battery station for one. We're not making enough money to place down a, an actual power plant yet. So battery uh, station is good enough. Water treatment plant. I think this is actually quite essential because I want to avoid polluting a river really badly. Crematorium. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? So I got one more point here. Can't afford anything here. I could get college. Maybe in a little bit. Because we're about to level up to level 4 anyways. So I'm going to get some more points pretty soon here. Um, welfare office. I think I'm just going to get a, a fire watch tower. There has been a bunch of fires happening lately out in the woods, so we got to take care of that. Does not, there doesn't seem to be any right now, but uh, they can sprawl up at any moment. And on top of that, I would like to start expanding over in this side of the map as well. So I'm going to purchase six tiles on each side. Let's spend our 12 points here. You know, we got plenty of money in the bank. It wasn't too expensive to purchase those uh, those tiles. Uh oh, what's going on over here? Abandoned. Oh, okay, that's not good. And what's going on here? Pedestrian access. Oh, okay. Uh, I think this is a bug that seems to just affect the townhouses. I'm gonna ignore it though because the game is still in early access and there's bound to be some little glitches and stuff like that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's probably most likely gonna be fixed by the time the game is released. Uh, okay, so I actually want to... How much is this? Emergency battery station, 50000 a month. How much money are we making? Just about 50000 a month. Okay, so <laughs> I might want to hold off on that. Um, but this looks interesting. Oh, God. Okay, well, I certainly can't afford this. The wastewater treatment plant. So it looks like we're going to pollute the river for a little bit longer. Um... Healthcare. I don't even have a medical clinic right now, and it looks like we have a couple of sick people. So they're having to go to the hospital elsewhere, which is not ideal. So I'm going to go ahead and place down a medical clinic uh, right here in the middle of town. So I'm just going to connect the street over here, and then I'm going to place down a medical clinic. There we go. So it's not, uh, it's, it's going to make healthcare much, much, much more accessible in town now. All right. And I actually want to get into some specialized industry. Let's, let's check this out. What can we do? So it looks like we just have livestock farming right now. And we, oh, oh yeah, well, live, okay, of course, livestock doesn't really depend on land fertility. So let's, let's get into a couple of farms here. There, so I'm going to start with some livestock farms. And I'm going to place my first farm right here. And, oh, all right, what do we have here? We have made it to the Grand Village Milestone, which grants us an extra million dollars in the bank, four progression points, and six expansion points. 
So let's take a look at here. We can create districts, policies. We got some new zones. We got some uh, low density offices. That's exciting. Oh, nice. And some more specialized industry. Cool. And nice. Some parks. That is super cool, guys. So let's uh, let's finish the farm here. If I, if I can get it going, I might have to get rid of it and plop it again. There we go. It's our first farm. I know it's kind of a weird shape, but I want to uh, to try to make this like a grid pattern, like the rest of our town is uh, has adopted. So since we have some fertile lands over here, might as well place down some wheat. Take advantage at of at least a little bit of this. Maybe have a road going up this way. Uh, let's do an alley. Or even a dirt road. Why not? So this is sure to help the economy. And to make the city grow. Forestry. Um... There's not a ton of trees. There's some over here, but that's like right in the middle of town. I might hold off on this a little bit. Maybe once I expand in this region, we can tap into some of those trees. But yeah, I think this is good for now. And as I unlock some new uh, types of farms and stuff, we'll place them down. But right now, I think I should place down some low density offices because uh, we got the demand for it. And I think that would be great. And I think we're ready for some more larger roads over here. I'm going to upgrade this road. Just like so. make another bigger intersection like this and let's lay down some zones Nice, we got some low rent housing as well. Let's do that. Wow, guys, we got a ton of residential demand. Let's, let's try to knock some of that off. I've got a lot of comments in the last video. Uh, a lot of people requesting that I use the grid tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how this works. That is actually not bad. Look at that. Okay, let's do this. And that is a quick and easy way to get an entire residential neighborhood built. That is exciting. Oh, and you know what? With this new residential neighborhood, let's add some parks. So here we have a small park. Plop it on the corner here. Small plaza. This might look a little better maybe on this street corner here you know with this being a sort of central area small playground oh wow this is tiny okay 
This would actually look really cool. Over by the school, maybe. And a dog park. Right here, there's nothing going on here. And then a campfire site, which is a bit larger. And the campfire site, well, I mean, there's no, no real, like, heavy forested areas. But maybe, maybe by the school again. Yeah, a little community park. That looks really cool. Alright, got a couple of businesses here that are suffering from not enough customers, but I think that's soon to go away once we start to have some residents move in. Is there some more? Uh, not here. Maybe right here by the highway. All right, our city is growing. Everything's looking good. Time to get some more uh, industrial in here. Awesome. Just gonna speed up the simulation a little bit, get things going. I think what I'll do just to show this off a little, if I go into the, uh, what would this be called? Landscaping menu, we have access to some nice pedestrian paths. And right here by the water looks like a beautiful spot for some nice nature trails. Unfortunately, we have this sewage outlet here, which is not very sightly, uh, but let's just ignore that for now and let's get a nice park going in here. Just so you can see how the trails behave. Alright, there we go, and then we can go ahead and replace these trees that we lost. And you may be wondering, hey, okay, what's going on here? He's placing trees, but only little bushes are being placed down. This is because trees actually have to grow now in City Skylines too. So what I'm doing is placing down these little saplings essentially, and you have to wait a period of time for them to grow. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually a uh, place multiple tool, a little tree brush. Looks like it's not doing much. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. There, so let's mix this up. Some pine trees in here. There we go. Couple hickory trees. There. Now, as we're waiting for the city to grow, as you can see, a lot of these streets are extra wide, allowing for vehicles to park on the side. Now, if you go into your road menu and then road services, we can actually remove these if we want. So we can create these nice curb sides. See, now there's grass in between the road and the sidewalks. And with that, we can add some trees as well. So then this makes it look like a, a little bit more of a wealthy neighborhood. You can even add trees directly to the sidewalk. So it just makes uh, some extra wide sidewalks with trees. But I prefer to put some grass in there. It looks, looks a little more suburban.
And then over here, we don't necessarily want a traffic light at every single intersection. So I'm going to replace a lot of these streets with stop signs. Now, unfortunately, what this does is it actually creates a, uh, a three-way stop. Um, I think in this case... Ah, that's what I want to do. Okay. So if I select the traffic light and I right click, it'll create a merge. So then the traffic coming from this little side street here has to merge to the traffic that's free flowing along the main road. I think that's a better option. So I'm going to go along all of my main road here. Oh, what's going on here, guys? Not enough customers. Uh oh, okay. So we're going to want to look into this go into our info views let's go into commercial what is happening commercial buildings commercial suitability customers oh yeah look my customers are low all over so customers include local citizens and visiting tourists different age as an example families with teens are more likely to buy electronics Okay. Yeah, it seems like seems like the uh, commercial buildings are not doing so good all over town. What can we do to fix that? Maybe if I bring some more people in here. Uh-oh. Looks like we have an accident over here. Oh my god, right in front of the cemetery. A hearse. A hearse is involved. Oh, it doesn't say if it's full or not. But either way, that's not good because if I swoop on over here on the other side of town. Oh, well, I guess uh, we, we just had a few dead people waiting. We still have one here. So it looks like there is a hearse that is over here in this neighborhood. But uh, yeah, this is definitely going to block access <laughs> to the cemetery for a little bit. Luckily, we have uh, how many hearses? Oh, we got five, 15 hearses. Well, we can have up to 15 hearses. Right now we have only six, but that's probably all we need in a small town like Milton. Uh, yeah, so I'd really like to address this commercial problem here. Let's take a look at our company profitability window over here. We can see that the average commercial profit, 56%. It's not bad. It's in the green zone. And then if I look at commercial suitability... It looks okay, I think. Yeah, everything's green. But then if I look at the amount of customers, it's not very good in these neighborhoods. It might be... What are these guys selling? Okay, food. Yeah, everybody needs food. Paper. Beverages. Beverages. Okay, so a bunch of different products. Um, maybe if I just lower taxes a bit more, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take some of the burden off. Maybe I'm going to lower this down to like, I'm not taking that much of a hit by lowering this. I'm going to set commercial tax to 8%. I'm going to make it a lot cheaper to run a business. We're going to make sure that Uncle Sam is a little less aggressive here. Uh, okay, so what is happening? Let's get some more. I have a tiny bit of... Oh. I have a tiny bit of low-density offices demand. So let's get some of that in here. And some more commercial. Although, yeah, we got some... some a lot of... Well, this is weird, guys, because... A lot, uh, this green area here sort of indicates that there's a high number of customers. But you can see that some of these businesses are struggling. Hmm. This is a good one, guys. I'll, I'll tell you, City Skylines 2 is definitely a, a bit more of a challenge compared to City Skylines 1. You know, there's a lot more depth to it. There's a lot more things that you got to look into when expanding your city. Uh, but right now, we have a ton of a ton of uh industrial demand so let's let's start expanding that now i want to leave enough room for a train station that's going to eventually go here nine 
90 degrees. Is that on a hill? Oh yeah, it's on a hill. Oh, and the developers have recently just added, uh, let's see here, some contour lines. Look at that guys, those look fantastic. That makes it much, much easier to see what kind of uh, terrain you're dealing with. All right, so let's get Let's zone a ton of industrial because we have a, quite a bit of demand right now. Let's try to quash that as well as residential. We're going to need a ton of people here moving into town. Let's use our grid tool yet again. Will this work? Uh, not quite. Maybe I'll do it up to up to here. Oh, it's not going to play nice with the rest. Hang on. Maybe if I start it here. Yeah, I quite like that. There, that's all right. Oops. Oh no. It looks like it downgraded the the main road here. There, that was an easy fix. And let's get some residential. And I'm also having a lot of medium density residential. So I think I'm gonna place down a few row houses maybe. Oops, ooh, I didn't wanna do that there. As well as some high rises. And that takes care of that. You know, guys, I'm thinking of leaving this big area here wide open. It'd be a nice place for a park. I know it kind of dips into the industrial zone a little bit, but at least it would create a buffer between the rest of the town and the industrial park. I'll get into that at some point. But yeah, guys, Milton is growing at such a rapid pace. There. Oh, let's check. Do I have some extra specialized industry? No, I don't right now. Okay. Not a problem. Now I can actually make zones now. I can make areas. And the way areas work is a little bit different now compared to City Skylines 1, but I'm not gonna get into some different areas yet just because I don't think the town is big enough to, uh, to warrant that yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I can place down a crematorium. 45,000 a month. I'm making well over that, so I'm gonna place a crematorium right over here by the cemetery and some fire watch towers I think this would be a wise decision to put one of them over here just because we seem to be having a lot of fires lately around town so I'm gonna place one right over here along the water that's gonna cover this island that will eventually build on and maybe I'm gonna place a tower I'm gonna place the tower right here in the middle of the eventual park. And just like that, the entire town is covered from any sort of forest fires. So that's exciting. Public transportation. All right, well, we got a bus depot, taxi depot. Let's place down a taxi depot. Let's get at least some taxis, the most basic form of public transportation. 
Let's place down a taxi depot. Um, oh, fits perfectly over here. And let's have a few taxi stands around town. So we'll have one here by the park. Let's maybe have a couple along our main avenue here. Oh my god, we're just flying now, guys. Look at the XP just rolling in. That is insane. Let's have one here by the schools. In these neighborhoods. At the cemetery. Near the center of the map. And then maybe... Maybe a couple along the shore. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow, okay, I totally forgot to spend my uh, progression points in the last upgrade. All right, well, let's see now. All right, so we only have a couple minutes to go in this video. I can't go over 30 minutes again. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, hospital, I think we're too small for a hospital yet. Incineration plant. Oh, a recycling center. That's actually a really good thing. And... I'm going to do park maintenance. And I'm going to spend my last point on... Uh, where was it? A college. Sweet. And we're almost to level 5 already, guys. Wow, that's super exciting. All right, um, I'm going to place down my recycling center as long as it's not crazy expensive. Oh, geez. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 160000 a month. And uh, we're making just about half that. So it looks like that's going to wait. Oh, yeah. And what about a college? Okay, that is quite expensive as well. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, yeah, just the buses. What's the difference here? We got a North American taxi stand, North American style stop where taxis can wait for fares and where customers can get a taxi versus a taxi shelter. Uh, okay, it's a taxi stop with walls, a roof, and seats where taxis can wait for fares and where customers can get a taxi. Oh, can I, can I upgrade these? Oh yeah, nice, I can. Sweet. Okay, so I think that's what I'll do for all of the central ones that are near uh, downtown and maybe on some of the main roads. And it looks like they're using them too. Look at look at all the people taking taxis. They're everywhere. That is awesome. Anyways, I'm going to have to address this issue at some point. So maybe somebody in the comments can point me in the right direction. Maybe you guys have some ideas what to do with this uh, commercial problem. But in the meantime, our residential demand is off the chart. So let's start laying down some more residential. Oh, what's this now? New signature building available, Balter Pines. And what is this? What does this building do? Plus three wellness within 750 meters. All right, well, let's, uh, I'm going to place this right here. That's pretty cool. All right. And uh, I guess that will, that'll have to do it for this episode, guys. Um, that is pretty much all the time that I have for today. But uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're as pumped as I am for the release of City Skylines 2. I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Just in time, we're ending things off on the right foot. Just unlocking the fifth milestone. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you what is included in here, but that'll be reserved for the beginning of the next video. So guys, that is going to be it for me. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. That's the same thing. Drop a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.